So in the latest case of the Western anime industry overriding a Japanese creator's original creative vision with their own and ironically stereotype based worldviews, the subtitles to Netflix's in-house Japanese to English localization of Toei Animation's One Piece anime adaptation have been found to feature a loaded change to series creator Eiichiro Oda's concept of new comma. Now, Nakama is family, right? <laughs> like, like that's um, isn't that what they call them? My the, yeah, the Nakama, right? like Nakama friends, it, family. It, like yeah, it's similar to friend, but like stronger than friend. In Japanese, there is a term. I forget what it is off the top of my head. Okama. For, oh, it's Okama, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's like for like uh, transvestite uh, culture, yes. right? In Japanese. So ever since its launch in 1997, One Piece has been and continues to be one of the most genuinely diverse series in the history of anime and manga. It's large roster of characters and locales offering representation to nearly every possible identity on the face of the earth. And even some that aren't. Obviously, this includes the LGBT plus community who Oda most notably included in a Shonen adventure story by way of the Kamabaka Kingdom's president population, pardon, Kingdom's resident population of Okama. Named after, named after the Japanese slang word used to refer not just to gay men, but specifically those who are particularly effeminate or engage in cross-dressing, the Okama people's uh, the Okama peoples consist entirely of cross-dressers, drag queens, and transgender women, all of whom swear fealty to their own Rocky Horror Picture Show homage of a leader, Emporio Ivankov. Yeah. That guy. Yeah. Wow. And I thought I hated the way he drew women. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Kamabaka Queendom. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, in the in some what? translations they they call it the Queendom. This is from uh, two thousand eight. Yeah. Damn, Oda was so ahead of his time. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's perfectly encapsulated what it feels like <laughs> these days. <laughs> oh, no. Ivankov eventually comes to find himself captured by the world government and subsequently thrown into their ends of the earth prison facility impelled down. Oh. Uh, what? I, it just sounded gross. Like I read it as impaled down. Right. And I'm just thinking like, oh, maybe he would like that though. <laughs> <laughs> and such, and as such removed it from his fellow Okama. Not one, uh, not one to let a bad situation keep him down. Ivankov quickly accommodates um, to this uh, to his new cage by forming New Comma Land, a secretive home away from home, hidden away inside the forgotten caverns of Impel Down's lower basement levels, and wherein he and its ragtag population of like-minded prisoners can find a reprieve from their senses. So he literally just made like drag night in the prison. Like, yeah, essentially. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I'm uncomfortable with the fact that I've learned that, <laughs> that Oda is a time traveler. <laughs> There's yeah. Now, well, now that you mention it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> um, yeah, there's a character in Random Eleven knows who I'm talking about. The the fan theory is that he, the character in question used to be a a, a woman, mm -hmm. <laughs> and Ivankov yes. turned mm -hmm. the, the character into a man. This is this yeah, so is it, dragon I, we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not dragon. Crocodile. Uh, it's not crocodile. That's right. Sorry. Uh, so it hasn't brought it up yet, but Ivankov has the ability to change other people's genders. Hmm. So setting this up must have been pretty easy is what you're telling me. Yeah. <laughs> Despite their similarities to the Kamabaka Kingdom's Okama, the new Kamas differ from their brethren in one key way. 
As whereas the former were limited to identifying as their identities through simple cosmetic changes, the latter's exposure to Ivankov's Horu Horu no Mi Devil Fruit, uh, which grants the user the ability to change a given subject's genetic makeup via hormone manipulation, Yeah, the man was ahead of his time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, real quick. The headline for this. It changes the term new comma into new trans. So we're just going to lean into it, are we, Netflix? We're just gonna, like, yeah. We're, we're just, yeah. <laughs> the similarities are so apparent, we can't escape it. New trans. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> now it gets better. I chose not to read this until the show, and... Uh, and, and I, I could not have it. foreseen this. <laughs> like, um, specifically, hormone manipulation is the part of it that's like <laughs> fucking red <laughs> alarm sirens going off. Uh, it's allowed them to transcend gender by experiencing life in both a male and female body. Truly the freest among us. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, as declared by Ivankov in One Piece chapter 537, a man, a woman, an Okama, you should be whatever you want. The borders between genders, I, no, we left them far behind. This is our new humanity, new comma. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah i remember that scene that poor bastard he's like where's my penis go so he gets changed uh un uh without his consent hmm. um, yes you don't say then, does that happen a he, lot in the new comma community uh, i don't know that's uh, the only uh, example uh, that <laughs> <laughs> Uh, after after he gets changed, uh, he embraces the lifestyle. Mm. I mean, at a certain point, you either kill yourself or you have to keep on living. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Um, hmm. So it just seems like prison is the worst place to put this guy. Anybody fucks with him, and it's like, well, you're getting raped tonight, woman. <laughs> Uh, yet, though Odo uh, was explicit in his definition of new comma as being an association with those who underwent a gender change on a genetic level, thanks to Ivankov, Netflix still chose to ignore this definition in favor of transgender representation. I'm not so sure, honestly. I we'll just get to like. That at the end of the article. So I. <sighs> I, I can't. I, I literally just can't even fathom this. Like, this reminds me a little bit of um, Netflix did the documentary on um, Dahmer. Yeah. And Dahmer's whole, like, tortured backstory is that he was gay. He couldn't come to terms with himself being gay. Uh, this is my understanding of it. So he tried to create a sex zombie like that's how fucked up he was that he thought with the proper mixture injected into a, a person's veins that he could keep them alive for him to have sex with them but remove their like agency or something like basically um remove their higher brain function but keep their holes moist enough for him to fuck right <laughs> and so because he's gay and that's like in the like SEO or whatever of the title, uh, it was recommending like 
today in in gay entertainment like or something right so basically people were offended. Pride month. yeah it, yeah so people were offended that it started trending or whatever uh during pride month uh because they're like it was like what do we want gay representation in media not like that <laughs> <You know? laughs> i just kind of feel like netflix is like well look what do you want <laughs> new trans <laughs> like, it gets worse it can't possibly get worse no it gets worse <laughs> oh dear lord okay so netflix still chose to ignore this definition in favor of transgender representation in their subtitle one one piece's 441st episode luffy revives ivan san's jailbreak plan begins in the original english subtitles for the episodes as produced by funimation ivan Koss rallying cry is met by a number of agreeing shouts from his followers including one who proudly declares quote it's a new beginning for the people of new comma land uh, but in contradicting Oda's long-established lore, Netflix's subtitles for the series instead have the eager warrior declare, quote, it's a new beginning for the new trans, which, as noted above, completely throws out Oda's nuanced concept in favor of taking a side in one of the Western world's current hot-button issues. Oh, no. They're painting a picture here like it is literally just this line. And what you showed yeah. us, I, I didn't quite, like, I wasn't really looking at it because I thought we would discuss it on stream but you showed more that seemed like yeah so, so there it so is way is, more yeah this is earlier in the this is before that scene that they were they were talking about ivankov mm -hmm. says welcome to new trans land um in the um uh, funimation one he obviously says new comma land um wow Netflix needs to work on their subtitles. Holy shit, that's unreadable. <laughs> Give me like that black, thick stroke. off of Crunchyroll. Yeah, so the 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 white um, subtitles is Netflix. The ones with the black stroke is uh, Crunchyroll. So, um, oh. yeah, this one they they used to the <laughs> word gay instead. Okay, hold up. I I just like I. Mm. Uh, but we've skipped over the, 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 this part, right? Yeah. This is where I was saying it gets worse. And I'm surprised just... Bounding Into Comics didn't cover this part. No, seriously. So for people who are just listening, uh, in the Netflix subtitles, it mm -hmm. says, maybe you're right, but at least it's a transvestite one. So he's saying like, oh, maybe it's a dull world or something, but at least it's a transvestite one is the full line. Um, mm -hmm. And transvestite in the community of transness is not a nice it's word. It's a taboo term now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I was saying. Like, you know, in one step, they're they're adding to mm -hmm. trans rights, but then... So it, it almost seems to me like Netflix was so eager, like whoever was in charge of the subtitles was so eager to stroke off the trans community. I don't think so. I don't think Hold so on. at all, actually. I, I yeah. feel like they were, like, this is... I just see, like, a, the good little liberal who wants to uh, represent for the trans community. And they're unaware of the fact that transvestite is a derogatory term these days. Yeah. They just it's think, possible. You know what I mean? Like, I, I kind of see it like that. Like, like they're so eager to, to, you know, um, bend over like backwards. Night. Yeah. I was, I was going to say suck them off, but I'm like, man, maybe not. <laughs> maybe, that's a, maybe that's a little inappropriate. <laughs> so um, the, the island where uh, Ivankov comes from is called Kamabaka kingdom. Right. right. Which is again, for, in terms of like the original Japanese pun, it's taking the word, the existing word in J Japanese Okama, which describes mm -hmm. effeminate men. Right, um, and then baka, which it means idiots, mm -hmm. and making a an island that's literally called or a kingdom that's literally called a, the the kingdom of effeminate idiots, which I think is funny. Um, but right. uh, you know, I think wisely, <laughs> Funimation chose not to translate it and just so left it. That actually is not. I I don't think that's meant to be baka. <laughs> Well, Baka has one A, not two. A one K, I mean. Yeah, it's it's written in katakana. First of all, yeah, but, but it's okay. written. Okay, so let me. Uh, okay, so the word. Google the, Translate. 
the the word for the for the audience here, um, since I can't put my my uh, mouse over it, <clears throat> you'll notice that there are three clusters of Japanese writing, right? And there's ofurigana above the kanji, right? The bottom right one, if you start like basically in the direct center of the bottom row there, and you look at that first letter, that's katakana ka, followed by ma, right? Kama, right? We're, the word we're looking for is kamabaka, right? The next one is ba, and then that is supposed to be a small tsu, and then ka, right? In Japanese, when you extend certain letters, you use the smaller symbol and it it is romanized with the double consonant as it is here. So I'm not 100% sure that that's what they're going for. Um, be, just simply because baka, meaning fool in Japanese, is would be written without that part in the middle. Of baka for the double k sound. Okay. Yeah. Well, so that's I'm whatever. just bringing that up. Like, it, so Google it might not lens, be a Google Lens is telling me it's comma baka, like how Funimation is spelling it. <laughs> yeah, uh, it might not be a, a a play on baka then, but anyway, uh, it's definitely a play on okama, right? Mm -hmm. Um, but um, obviously, <laughs> Netflix translated it as just transvestites kingdom mm -hmm. that's a bold move i i don't know so my theory of what happened is that i don't think it was a netflix translator trying to be inclusive and then using the wrong term i think it was just someone that was using ai or some machine uh, translator sure. to translate the term because AI. if you translate Okama, like AI is going to tell you it, it means transvestite. They don't, it doesn't give a shit about what's mm -hmm. taboo and not. I literally tried this in chat GPT. I was like, what is this? And they're like, oh, it's transvestite. So I think that's why the term got in there. Um, and they didn't pay respect to the quote unquote legacy term of. Uh, new comma. Okay. Um, let me just ask you real quick. The term baka written in hiragana or baka written in katakana, but it wrote it the other way without the uh, double K is more standard spelling for idiot or fool in Japanese. The use of katakana baka, which still doesn't have the extra letter, can add emphasis or a different nuance, sometimes used for stylistic reasons to highlight the word in certain contexts, such as manga or advertising. The version baka could be a typo, a less common variant or a stylized expression emphasizing the word even further, but baka or baka written in hiragana or katakana is the conventional spelling. Yeah, so I don't think that that's what it's supposed to necessarily be other than perhaps evoking, you know, like when, when, you're, uh, when your aunt will refer to like target as target, so it sounds fancier than shopping, you know, uh, at at the uh, slightly more middle class version of Walmart, you know. Um, so I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Um, I just don't know. I, I I'm not married to the uh, to the idea that this is uh, supposed specifically to be like. Yeah, I don't know. It's like very said, interesting. I I thought it was just because, you know, it says Baca. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, uh, it's, it might it's not a safe be. assumption, I but I just don't, I, I don't know. know. Maybe, I think there might be a little bit more than that. I uh, can't wait to see the uh, people in the clips <laughs> comments uh, correct us. But my my point is, Okama literally means transvestite. So I think mm -hmm. that's where Netflix's translator picked that Very up possible. from. They're um, just using a literal translation and they didn't. And, and so when they translate um you know new comma land um knowing that it says o comma like knowing that it means <laughs> new o comma um they could yeah. assume that it's just new trans land man it's a shame that 
uh, Fudnam's not here to marvel at your ability to take two screenshots on the same frame. <laughs> <laughs> Truly a man among uh, children when it comes to uh, <laughs> yeah, look at that. getting it yeah. right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, oh, fucked up. <laughs> oh, did I fuck up on this yeah, one? Cause the oh, yeah, because the C's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn. But you that's notice, not what I was trying to show. Yeah, yeah. I love Just how they. Uh, I love how they've got like a, an ash shaped rainbow. Yeah, or maybe maybe it's supposed to be a heart. I don't know. Let's I think it's it. supposed to be a heart. Okay. <laughs> Gay Love Island, wonderful. Although I, I've been told that the uh, the symbol of the heart is uh, they have there's a theory that it is supposed to represent the ass. Ooh. That's where it came from. Apparently, I don't know. One of my one of my school teachers told me that. Wow. You're saying because the, a real heart looks nothing like the yes <laughs> the peach emoji. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right on. At the time of the writing, um, Shueisha, Toy Animation, Adrian Oda, or Netflix have yet to comment. Wow. Yeah, I don't think they will. 